Hello folks, Samsung fans across the globe are looking forward to the Galaxy S23 series launch. The company is expected to unveil the new lineup early next month. Before that happens, we can expect to see more leaks and rumors leading up to the launch. The Galaxy S22 series comes in a multitude of colors, but rumors have said we won't be as spoiled for choice this year, as the Galaxy S23 range will be available in just four colors, and new official looking photos seems to confirm that leak. White Pink gold, sky blue, burgundy and red are just some of the color options of the S22 series, but that's not necessarily a good thing as too many options can unnecessarily complicate a purchase decision. And most of us slap cases on our phones anyway, so hues don't matter all that much at the end of the day. Leaker Snoopy Tech, who is known for retail leaks, has posted some Galaxy S23 photos that presumably showcase all the color options. Reliable leaker Ross Young revealed back in October that the Galaxy S23 would come in black, beige, green and light pink. And a few days back, tipster Ahmed Quida said that they would be available in black, cream, green and lavender. So in very simple, basic words, the phones were rumored to come in black, then a whitish colorway, a hue close to pink and purple and green. Phantom black and green have a formal vibe to them while the others are fun, laid back hues. According to Ice Universe, these images are neat the original ones, he adds that the camera of S23 Ultra is larger than this, S23 Ultra doesn't have a red laser focus, the edge of the curve of the S23 Ultra is steeper than this, and the antenna position is wrong. So you guys don't take these images too seriously, maybe it's just about colors. However, I think green is going to be deeper. The Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus will appear quite identical as far as the design is concerned. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a more distinctive back courtesy of its more advanced rear camera setup, and the boxy silhouette that resembles the Galaxy Note flagships. The design changes are subtle, but they'll make the new series instantly stand out from its predecessor. Samsung has done away with the counter cut design for the camera setup in favor of a more flushed approach. The camera cutouts now protrude ever so slightly from the back panel, which is otherwise seamless in its design. This provides the device with a minimalist look, unlike some previous Galaxy S models that had more bold designs. Moving on, there is one possible downgrade that many have not been particularly excited about. The fact that the Galaxy S23 Ultra could be ditching the 40 megapixel selfie camera of its predecessor in favor of a 12 megapixel one. Nevertheless, according to new information, the front facing camera of the S23 Ultra will actually be superior to the one found on the S22 Ultra, despite having a lower megapixel count. In a tweet, a tipster has revealed that the 12 megapixel front camera of the S23 Ultra will feature a pro mode and dual pixel technology. Additionally, the new sensor will be introducing improvements in low-light performance and nightography. In short, the leak claims that the overall camera quality will be higher, despite the loss of megapixels. It should be noted that megapixels are not everything when it comes to camera performance, so this sounds like a rational decision on Samsung's part. One of the things for which Samsung is particularly well known is its advanced display technology. Throughout the years, the Korean tech giant has made some of the most high-quality panels in the industry, including those of many known Samsung devices. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that many tech enthusiasts have come to expect the best when it comes to the display from Samsung smartphones and the company's flagships in particular. This year, however, they might be in for a disappointment. This week at CES 2023, Samsung showcased a stunning 2000 Nis AMOLED display, a display that will unfortunately fail to make it to this year's Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup. Prominent Samsung tipster Ice Universe has confirmed in a tweet that the bump in peak brightness will not be coming to the Galaxy S23 Ultra or its smaller brothers, the Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus. According to the current information, all three S23 smartphones will share the same peak brightness level of 1750 nits. While this is an increase for the S23, last year's Galaxy S22 had a peak brightness level of just 1300 nits. The bigger models will have the same peak levels as their predecessors. This not only narrows the gap between the Galaxy S23 Ultra and its less premium counterparts, but also marks the first time that Apple outdoes Samsung in the display department. For reference, one of the big upgrades to the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max was a superior display with a peak brightness level of 2000 nits. At any rate, the Galaxy S23 lineup is just around the corner. Samsung has confirmed the Galaxy S23 launch date. It is pretty much guaranteed the next Galaxy Unpacked event is happening on February 
February 1st, 2023. Anyway, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, good luck to all.